It's good to have you join us as we take a look at the papers this morning and find out what stories are making the headlines. And of course, we have a guest in the studio to help us analyze it. I am Mariana Cohn in the studio with us this morning. at Kim Belu, uh, Ajida, huh? Right? Ajida, huh? Yeah, okay, I hope me. I got that right. He's a public yeah, sure. affairs analyst. Uh, thank you for joining us, uh, Akin Belu. Now, we'll start with, we have stories from the Vanguard, we have the Punch, and we also have spots this morning. So we're going to start with the Vanguard newspaper. Top story here says... Bahari's cabal aren't hungry people. Ohanizi, a Feni Fere Pandef say it's an insult on Nigerians. Uh, another story on the Vanguard newspaper, top right of the Vanguard newspaper, Obasaki Edo APC bicker over planned House of Assembly election. Oshomole's rejection uh, of Obasaki's gift worsens the feud. Despite the holidays, ladies and gentlemen, gridlock continues at mile two and beggar. Yes, that you can find on, the, on page 10 in the Vanguard newspaper. Still looking at stories making the headlines on the Vanguard newspaper. Nigeria may sink dipper into poverty. The World Bank warns this should make us all quiver. Uh, says uh, population will grow by 35 million in 10 years. Maybe we should stop having babies. <laughs> and uh, this one says, again, it would add growth vulnerable to local global risk. And uh, the big picture on the Vanguard newspaper this morning uh, is a picture of Adeonju in uh, his on a hospital bed, of course, is re receiving treatment. It looks like these doctors are from outside the country. Uh, well, I'll read the writer. It says... Prince Adeonju Deji, convener of Concerned Nigerians, being attended to by doctors in a hospital in Dubai after he was attacked by thugs during a rally in Abuja on Monday. And finally, uh, in the Vanguard newspaper, Sultan can tangle over religious persecution. Ganduje bans men and women from boarding same tricycle in Kanu. Interesting. Well, I'm, I'm going to take a look at this. Nigerians may sink deeper into poverty, World Bank warns. Um, like I said, should we stop having children? Uh, what exactly do we need to do? Because there's, there's been a population boom for the past 20 years. That's true. That's true. I th the main problem is not necessarily having children. The main problem is the fact that the government has not been able to like, properly implement its policies to increase GDP and increase productivity in the country. Mm -hmm. So for example, now one in about three Nigerians have no jobs. And so that's one person in every, out of every three is jobless. And that's a very poor stat. Seeing the fact that we're 200 plus million people, that should be the case because we have enough manpower and all we just need is proper government policies and to be run effectively for these things to um, improve. And yes, you can partly say um, a bit of the problem is the population. Yeah, because you know some people, some people have children, more children that they can take care of. That should be part of the problem. And that is also due to like the north and the the beliefs, but also in like everywhere in the country really, where we have like multiple wives and like excessive number of kids compared to your income. And well, you think it's worse in the north? Have you been to a barracks before? Okay, that's why I said in also even, in other even, parts of the Even down your well. street, there must be a man who yeah, has that, more than he that, can that's take That's why care I also of. added the other parts of the country as well, where we have like five people with two, three wives and mm -hmm. have like ten kids, but mm -hmm. they're not making enough money to sustain these children. And so I, the mentality of the nation also has to change at mm. the same time. Interesting. Now, the fact that the population is going to grow by 35 30 million in 10 years is alarming. Uh, when I was a little girl in school, we were taught about family planning. How many people really understand mm. what family planning is and how many people really embrace it? Because you know we're very religious people in this part of the world and we're always talking about, oh, children are a gift from God. Do you think that there would be some form of orientation that could help us understand this? Definitely. We could follow the steps of Iran in, I believe, 2005. They had a similar problem with a booming population and what they did was they simply just educated the, the citizens on family planning and provided the necessary things. So for example we could have like um, master classes on family planning and it could be like on other places as well. There could be provision of condoms and other contraceptives as well mm -hmm. and these things could also help improve because of the, the level of illiteracy in Nigeria is very high yeah. and that needs to drop. Okay. 
All right, let's move on to the Punch newspaper. We got top stories here in the Punch newspaper. Subsidy heats 47.5 naira per litre as oil prices rise to $67.08. Um, landing cost of petrol was 180 naira seven kaba per litre on December 23, says PPPRA. And Dangote ref refinery will change subsidy regime, says marketers. And we can see a picture uh, of um, um, people at the carnival in Calabar, I guess, uh, across River State. Um, and um, that is, uh, the, I think it's the traditional carnival, of course. And um, pictures of the Praise Jam in Lagos and uh, Buja residents having a good time on Boxing Day. All right, more stories on the Punch newspaper. Fresh gridlock looms as Karabeja Bridge, which construction re resumes on January 6th. IPPIS, why varsity lecturers were paid December salaries. You can find that on page two of the Punch newspaper. And still on page two of the Punch newspaper, Buhari has asked us to sanction Oshomale Obasaki. Uh, uh, says okay and uh, commercial banks assets liabilities reach 41.42 trillion naira you can find that on page 25 of the money people and at the bottom of the punch newspaper reps considering development commissions for southwestern two others and pastor daughter and son drowned during vacation in spain oh that's a really sad one and finally, PDP will soon begin to search for 2023 presidential candidates, says but BOT. Do they have to wait? I mean, I thought they, that would have started happening immediately after the election, but that's not my business. <laughs> uh, let's talk about the subsidy um, regime. It's, it's hit 47.5 naira. Yes, that is actually a rise, an increase on what it was before. Mm -hmm. But the, the main problem is the fact that it's, ve it's a very fluctuating, if I may use that word, kind of business in the sense that it's always moving every day. For example, December 12th, I believe it was 165, and then it went to 167, 170, 177. And this was daily, mm -hmm. not just in one instance. So like that is also a reason why it has deterred a lot of people from move, from importing oil into the country. Mm -hmm. And then the fact that NMPC seems to be the only government approved um, importer of oil into the well, country. Well, because, you know, I mean, importers found it pretty difficult yeah. to deal with the fluctuation of the prices. So NNPC was now the sole importer. Yeah, yeah that, that's understandable. But what I feel could be done is the fact that the government needs to, like, you know, um, help other private importers of um, petrol into the country in order to, like, reduce the prices because as we've mentioned earlier, the economy is not so strong that people can afford rising petrol prices. Mm -hmm. So that also needs to be looked into. And it's the Utah season. Uh, and we all know that it's hard to... Uh, we get light every now and again, but we would like to have more steady you know, power supply. And that means that if you don't, you have to buy petrol. And if it's this expensive, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure how many people can afford it. Yes, that's very true. That, that also needs to be looked into. And the fact that um, the power workers recently went on strike is not a good sign on that <laughs> as well. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's all about government policies and implementation of these policies. And moving forward, it looks like things are going to be done. So we can only just hope that they are actually done. All right, let's talk about the um, fresh gridlock, which is uh, bedeviling the people of Kara and Berger Bridge area. I was listening to the radio on my way to work and they were talking about the fact that some people who were going to Ibadan were stuck there for hours and they were unable to go anywhere. Is this the best time? I mean, I know the accident that happened there, but is it a good call to... Why do it now? That's the question. Yeah, I believe it's due to the... It's not necessarily... It was inevitable, but the recent collision of the trailers sped it up. So they, they needed to take action. and. I do agree with you in the sense that it's not necessarily the best time to do it because there's going to be a lot of people traveling back to their villages and from the villages back to Lagos. But ultimately, it needs to be done, and we all need to just understand this and just carry on with and just our keep daily suffering. Active. It's not necessarily <laughs> suffering. It, it, it depends and just on your enjoy the suffer, <laughs> suffering and smile but while we're at it. There's a, there's a saying that you need to suffer now to enjoy later. So for the road to be better in the future, we need to just endure currently. 
I see. <laughs> Let's talk about the IPPIS for universities. We know that that's been a, an ongoing situation. Um, why university lawyers or sorry lecturers were paid December salaries? Okay, that that was because the government had not yet fully brought in all the, gov um, the gov um, public diversity lecturers into the payroll system, and due to the holiday season, they couldn't just leave them um, without their salary, so they needed to pay. And although there's there's been an ongoing battle between the ASU and the IPPIS and guards. I mean, I think, I believe the chairman, Mr. Bjorden, was noted to say that in what country has the varsity been imp um, implemented into the IPPIS? So that, that's a sign of their constant front and back mm. arguments. But ultimately, it's a good sign because if the government hadn't done this, then the strike would be looming again. And we know that Ultimately, yes, people need to be paid, but it's the students that suffer. Exactly. And, and that, who wants that? Exactly. <laughs> All right, finally, uh, still in the Punch newspaper, Buhari asked us to sanction Oshomale and others, says Governor uh, Godwin Abasaki. Um, well, we're not going to look at that story. Uh, just, just, just as an aside, but we will take a short break. I want to thank you very much uh, for being part of the conversation, Akin Pelu. Ad, Ajida, huh? Uh, he's uh, <laughs> public affairs and is murdering his name. Thank you for speaking with us. <laughs> we'll be back and then we'll be talking sports in just a moment. Stay with us. To talk sports, I am being joined by uh, one of our sports analysts in house, uh, Destiny Onyoboria. Uh, she is here with me to talk sports completely. And today we have complete sports. So hello, Destiny. Good morning. It's good. I mean, did you watch all the matches? I saw the Leicester, um, uh, Leicester versus um, Liverpool match. And oh my God, I was excited that Liverpool was winning. <laughs> but let's talk about the big stories here. NFF offers role new contracts. Uh, they insert tough conditions for the Eagles manager. Uh, Balogun misses full EPL season after being dropped by Brighton against Spurs. Ndidi wants improvement on goal scoring. Uh, Eagle taking scoring lessons from Vardy. Okay, uh, still in the complete sports, we've got Leicester 0, Liverpool 4. I'm smiling. Fantastic Reds put foxes uh, on the sword. Uh, literally. Um, Marshall grabs brace as Devils run riot. Still in complete sports. Man Manchester United, um, yes, uh, four. And Newcastle, one. And uh, Chelsea, zero. Southampton, two. Saints stun blues at the bridge. Lampard struggles at home and uh, it continues. All right. There's another story here. Still on complete sports. Madrid working hard on signing Mbappe. Um, Lewandowski, Lewandowski's deadliest striker in 2019. Ronaldo suffers worst scoring year of the decade. The Portuguese rules out becoming a coach. And Messi wants Dembele out of Barcelona. Wow, is there a feud brooding there? Let's start from that. I don't think there's a feud. Uh, Messi is just... Um, that's, I think that's actually a rumour. Because Dembele is a very good... Um, he's a very good winger and... Uh, He's an, he's an integral part of Barcelona, so anything that comes out of the papers, I really don't think, unless we, we find out from Barcelona that really they want to, uh, they want to pull out the Berlin generation transfer, every other thing is just suitable. Hmm, interesting. I heard that you um, made a prediction that went to the <laughs> dustbin. Yeah, it's, it's, it's always like that sometimes. <laughs> to the but dustbin, I, they were, because they were, Liverpool, they were supposed never, to win. Why do you think that Leicester would be able they to... They were supposed to win. They were supposed to. I don't think it's just that. It's just that. Uh, do you see around, how fit that Liverpool team is compared to Leicester? I saw the play. I definitely, saw. Definitely. But for the, for Liverpool players, the coach, the staff, everybody in that team, their fans, they are just interested in winning the Premier League. So every, anything other than that, they don't want to hear about it. It's just the Premier, and that's their main focus for this, this season. Hmm. It's just their main focus. But uh, for Leicester City, they were supposed to win that match because yeah. They, they had the rest they we'll needed. Keep it in view. <laughs> they, had, they, they, view. they had they the rest they needed. Win. But come on, this is Liverpool. They, are they like, couldn't even put they one. They, they, they couldn't score one goal. They How are, are they, they supposed they, to win? They have fantastic players. Yes, but I didn't see them so powerful on the field of play yesterday. Let's talk about um, Balogun missing a full EPL season. What is going on with well, Balogun? Um, he's not really had that start. Okay, I would say since last season, he's not really featured for Brighton and Hoover Albion. 
I don't know if he's if he's injured or they just he's not he's he's actually out of order. You have good defenders. Now he's not uh, he did actually feature for Nigeria. He has not featured for Nigeria in about uh, three or four matches now they've played in. I think basically it's because he's not playing in the EPL. Like some coaches they want a, a centre back mm -hmm. that can force that defence. Look at um Evan Jaik now in Liverpool. He's had like he's the wall of that place. So if uh, Balogun is not capable enough of cementing his place as, as Brighton, then I don't think the coach is, is going to pick him up. Interesting. Uh, Ndidi wants improvement on goal score. What's happening? The man just got married. He lost everything? No. What's going just, on? Uh, Ndidi is like the god of the midfield. Mm. Presently, yeah. He's really, he has really improved under Mikel. He has really improved under Benavidias um, in Leicester City. So in terms of goal scoring, he's not even a striker. He's just an assist. So the goal scorer. Has he been doing that pretty well? Uh, no, not yeah, he has. But it's just that, come on, they played against Manchester City, they lost. They played against Liverpool yesterday, they lost. So he's just he he wants to assist. That's just his work, just to assist and to maintain that balance between the defense and the midfield. All right, let's talk about Ronaldo suffering the worst scoring year of the decade. And I love this guy. What's happening to him? He, uh, although he's talking about the fact that he's never going to be a coach, but he would be a very hot one. Very hot girl. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. Players with players, players like Ronaldo, they want uh, perfection. And when uh, when fellow players don't deliver perfection to them, they mm. can they just tend to get angry. Because Ronaldo is a perfectionist. Yeah, we, we see a lot of times when he throws yes. tantrums on yes, the field. Yes, perfectionist. So now he knows scoring goals. This is definitely it's because I'm not a fan of the Italians. We are. They have this um, this old men playing their leagues and yeah the, the old and um uh, so you think Ronaldo are is too young ladies. for the Syria definitely so <laughs> okay. they are not they don't have the young style of football we need like the ones you have in Spain English Premier League and mm. France mm. so their midfield is slightly loose nobody is and you think that that's the reason why he's not and that's why he's goals. not scoring goals Interesting. compared to where um while this was as um yeah, in Spain at Real Madrid. Yes. So do you see him staying longer in this team or is he going to leave them out of frustration? Ah, if there's not, no improvement? Ronaldo is not, he's never going to be a frustrated player. I feel, I think he's going to spend very little time. Them. After the 1920 season, maybe 20, 20, 20, 21, he's going to, after that time, if he's going to play up to 40 years, because he's about 30, 34 now, mm, uh, 34, I 35 now, then I strongly believe he's going to, he's going to win Champions League with them. But I'm not sure it's this season. Ah, okay. Uh, one more. Let's look at Ateta. Begins Arsenal reign with a point. I'm an Arsenal fan, so I, I'm going to be biased. I'm not an Arsenal fan. <laughs> I know, so you hit I'm, me uh, with your best shot. <laughs> I, I, I actually just hope Doka is watching this right now. <laughs> I, I will fight you on his behalf. Okay. So, <laughs> as, I don't know what, what's happening to Arsenal. It's not, it's, not, it's not the coach anymore. You don't think it's the coach? It's, the it's not the coach anymore. But it's the coach who makes the team, isn't it? It's, it's the coach who makes the team, but it's not the coach that plays the football. Well, but then it's he not tells the coach them anymore. what to do. Let's look at it from this point. You brought in Una Emery. He said he was not doing good. He bought a player, almost 70 million. Yeah, around that price. He was not using him. Now he was sacked. He bought in an interim manager for the Lindbergh. The, the same thing happened. They, didn't, they only won one match. You are bringing in a tetra. Everybody, okay, let me say this now. Is there let, an me say age this. Old let me say this now. In as, much as, in, as much as, in as much as I like Ateta, he's a very good guy. He knows he's a, he's a very good assistant coach. I won't say he's a coach yet, but it's not the, the coach that plays the football. Now, the problem is not the coach anymore, it's within the players. They, they, they lack confidence. They've, their confidence is no longer there. What do you think they need to break that curse of it's, lack of it's confidence? Not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not really a curse. I think. I don't think they need to buy new sets of players from oh. the goalkeeper down Here to the go. strikers. Here they just need go. to let everybody go. Because if ah. Obama Young is that yeah, going to God, he equalized the goal for them yesterday. I know what happened to me, so let me not start saying it right now. <laughs> <laughs> so in as much as like I said is not doing well, the player ratings yesterday was very poor. The only person I think had up to seven point nine rating was Shaka. What are, the what are the strikers doing up front? What are the wingers doing? Nothing. They lack confidence in that team. They need to get new players. Sell everybody out. Send them off to Spain. Send them off to US. Get new players. 
Oh, well, let's see if that's going to happen anytime soon. But I want to thank you, Destiny, for speaking with us. And that's it on our paper review this morning. I'm Mariana Conn. Enjoy the rest of our programs.